All right, so you're teaching math and you want an, uh, a whiteboard that you can w have your students use so that you can watch them do the math in real time. Um, but you, all, you want the power of a bunch of math tools. So there are some whiteboards out there, but they, they lack the math tools. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use GeoGebra to create whiteboards that your students can use to do the math and they can have all the math tools available to them that you want them to have. So it's really, really cool. So let's get started. So on the left, I've got the teacher side. On the right, I've got the student side. Plus I am using an iPad to show some stuff as well. So uh, let's get started. So uh, first off, I've created a whole bunch of class templates, an uh, isometric whiteboard, a dot board, uh, a whiteboard with a grid, and then of course a blank whiteboard. And uh, they're all basically have the same tools inside of them. The only thing that's different right now is the canvas. Uh, so let's say I'm going to use the gridded whiteboard. All right. So what I'm going to do is typically I, as a teacher, uh, I would click that little dots. I would copy that activity and then I would name it, uh, adding fractions demo demo. All right. Now what's really kind of cool is I can insert the problems here. All I have to do is hit that pencil and I can say, add and then I can put in my little problem right I can add one and two I mean two and I mean three <laughs> and two thirds plus oh let's say five and one half all right and so I can hit save and there it is, right? There's my problem. But really, I, I don't need to do that because I'm gonna be using this in a, a whole class setting. So I'm going to be kind of telling them um, what problems to add on this canvas, this canvas, and this canvas. So they're gonna have three canvases uh, to do three demo problems, all right? And then once I have either added the problems, inserted the problems here, or once I'm just ready, because I've all I did was rename it. I'm gonna click save and close. And find it, it's gonna be in my resources. There it is. And I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna hit create class. And I'm gonna put in the front class as opposed to the activity itself. So I've turned it into a classroom. And there's the, th there's the link I'm gonna share with all my students. I'm gonna put it in my chat box, my Zoom, my Google Meet, whatever. So I'm gonna put it there. And so now I'm gonna uh, move over to the student side and I'll paste in that link. And this student is already logged in as uh, my you know previous uh, GeoGebra account I have, but I'm gonna type in fo Firefox because that's the browser I'm using. All right, so there it is. And you'll notice on the left side, a name popped up. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with my iPad. So with my iPad, I can go to my, um, oopsies, right here, and delete that. And let's put in, there it is. And it's thinking, so I'm putting in the link there's the address up at the top, and I'm gonna just hit, type in my name, I'll just put in iPad. I'm gonna hit start. All right, and so now going back to the desktop side, we can now see that we've got two students in my class. We've got the Firefox, which is this guy over here, and we've got iPad, which is this guy right here on the iPad. And so now what's happening is uh, as the teacher, I click on task over, uh, overview and I can see I've got three tasks going on and I'm going to click on task one and I can see that nobody has started the work on task one. So here is the student on the Firefox and I'll just, I don't know, let's just grab a pen and let's start writing three and two thirds. And what you're going to see on the left side is almost immediately um, the teacher side starts to create that dashboard where we can start seeing students work. So I'm gonna leave it on that teacher view. So I want you to look on the teacher view. Uh, on my iPad, I'm gonna start doing the work as well. 
And I ain't gonna lie, it is a whole lot easier to do the math on an iPad because I can use a stylus and the writing is so much quicker. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of finish the problem on the iPad and you can see that it, it does, it's not exactly real time, but it's pretty stinking, pretty stinking quick. And with the iPad, I will switch over to the iPad for a second. With the iPad, you get all these additional features. So when you click on your pen, you can change the color. You can change the thickness of the, the, the pen right here. And so I can say, oh, that's times two times two. So that's four. And then I can change the color. And I could say that's times three, this is times three, and that's equal to three. Meanwhile, I'm gonna switch back to the desktop and you can see that stuff is happening over here in re almost in real time. And so this becomes eight and seven sixth, which is equal to nine and one sixth. And there you go. You could start to see in real time that little dashboard happening. Now, if I want, I, as the teacher, can click in and I can see up close and personal what the student was doing. Um, now, this is a preview. And if you, as the teacher, start editing and all this sort of stuff, nobody's going to see it. Um, this is just your way of marking it up, but it's just a preview and, and this won't be changed. So if uh, you're doing this because, oh, I don't know, let's say you want to uh, do some documenting and you want to, you know, fix some student work. Uh, what you can do is you can edit some stuff right here using a pen, and then you can screenshot it. And then you can use that uh, to lead a, a class discussion later. So I'm gonna go back and hit that back button. And meanwhile, I can be watching what what's going on in real time. So here is, uh, I'm gonna get out of that tap Fire, uh, Firefox and I can just continue on the student side for this Firefox. I can say, all right, well, here's three, six plus five, and then there's a six down here. And you can see it's happening in real time over here. It's really um, pretty stinking cool. And then of course I, as a teacher would say, all right, everybody. Now, by the way, check this out as a teacher, I can press the pause button. So anytime I need everybody's attention, I press that pause button and you can see on the Firefox side, uh, it's paused and heck, if I go to the iPad, you can see that the iPad is also closed. So you get a lot of control over um, your class. You can, you can, uh, that sounds like <laughs> carceral, <laughs> but, but it, you can control the pacing and stuff by using that, that awesome pause button. Going back to the teacher side, anytime you want to resume, you just hit resume and there you go. You're back to, back to business. You can tell your students, hey, all right, everybody go down to problem two and I want you all to solve such and such problem. And then of course your students can do that. And it's just really really powerful. So what's really kind of cool about this though, is you as the teacher, when you're creating that activity, you can control what mathematical tools students have at their disposal. So let me show you what I mean by that. Right now on the student side, you can see I gave them access to uh, a pointer, the thing that will move the entire canvas. I gave them a pen. I gave them a segment tool so they can just draw two dots and there's your line because sometimes maybe you want to um, create a line somewhere. And I also gave them access to a delete tool so they can hit with that can, uh, trash can selected. They could delete anything they want. They could zoom in if they wish. So here is my shape and they can zoom in if they wish or they can zoom out if they wish. They can also label with text. Hi there and put that text wherever they want it to go. All right, so there's added tools that I, I provided. Now you as the teacher can edit what kinds of tools they um, your students have access to uh, depending on the activity. So it's entirely up to you. So here we go, whiteboards uh, that we can watch students work on in real time, we have it. But with GeoGebra, you can also have the power of all the math tools available inside GeoGebra.